All right, so what is up, guys? I'm gonna teach you guys how to calculate your rev rate. What you're gonna need is probably just some masking tape, pretty cheap, and then uh, it always works best. If you have a darker ball, like an IQ or a high road or a shooting star, something colorful. It's a little bit harder to know. Then you gotta, and you want to get a piece of tape about six inches long. About there is good. And then turn the tape off to the side. So you want to put it in the center of your grip. This is probably too long of a tape. Put this right here. So you want to get the center of your grip. Put it in the center of your grip going out to the right if you're a right hander. Or out to the left if you're a left hander. So it just depends if you're right or left. So you want to put it in the center like this. Yeah. So you want to have it in the center of your grip just like this. That. And then you want to get a camera with a high frame rate, like an iPhone. He is going to record the shot from as low as you possibly can, right behind your set down board. That was And then you're going to want to count how many times the tape spins, how many times this tape spins around the ball, and then it's hard to get my storm. So, all right, I'm going to throw a couple shots and then. Do I do slow mo? Now he just recorded, and now you got to do it is count how many times the ball spins around the table. So I'll put the put the video in slow mo so you guys can count as well, and I'm gonna count it too. Oh, As well as when you are recording, you want to take, you want to uh, stopwatch from when the ball leaves your hand from the moment it hits the pins. You want to calculate that time, and I'm going to do that now. Once you calculate your rev rate, you want to go to Storm Bowling and how to calculate your rev rate and find this chart. So you, you want the ball speed and revolutions. So my revolutions was about 20. And my ball speed time was two seconds and seven two two seconds two point seventy seconds. So I needed to find my rev rate on here. So using my ball rotations and this time and this graph, my rev rate is my ball rotated twenty two times because I just looked at the footage again, and then two point seven. So my rev rate is. 2.7 and then 22 So my rev rate is 400 my rev rate is 489 is my rev rate that I calculated So you guys could do this at home too Peace out